We got the addition of some personality to the ghost characters. It introduces some nightmare fuel to the franchise with Talkman. My plans are already in motion. Pac-Man cannot be allowed to crash my party. Really scared me as a kid. And there's also the addition of these brand new cutscenes before the boss fights that show Talkman's influence on them, whereas before, you saw nothing of him until the end of the game. This is way better. It reminds me of Yoshi's Island when the Magic Koopa would come in and like over the bosses. That that was great. I love that. That that's an awesome thing. And then when it comes to the artistic style, I think this looks way better too. Like the nightmare fuel that we had with the original Talkman, that got put in the scrapyard where it belonged. Except the newer and better Talkman. This is... this is so good! Even the main baddie, Spooky the Ghost, he's just... an advanced ghost. It works perfectly. Oh god, Erwin? Th this is the villain? We jumped from a robo-Pac-Man to a big spooky ghost to a destroy-all-humans-alien-looking reject? Man, those forehead wrinkles. Should have invested in some lotion, that's probably why he's so mad. Along the way, Orson is helping you out too. In an interesting bit of continuity, that is the ghost who was controlling Talkman in the original Pac-Man world, and now he's deciding to, like, be good? It's, it's a weird piece of continuity that I appreciate. It's strange. Every, everything about this game is strange. It's really hard to take this so seriously when the game is taking itself so seriously. This is Pac-Man. Why am I traveling through hell like it's Doom?